On our Facebook page. Sarah Levine is on a mission to keep Austin streets safe. And today, she's won a small victory in her fight against drunk driving. It was awesome. <laughs> I, uh, I was pretty giddy this morning. Giddy to get this, an email from the city's transportation department informing Sarah they would begin allowing overnight parking this weekend. It's big news. A lot of people that I know have gotten towed from that lot. That lot is located underneath the I-35 overpass, dividing downtown from the city's east side. My hopes that people will make good decisions and not drive home drunk. Sarah pushed for the parking enforcement change in an effort to keep tipsy travelers from getting behind the wheel of the car. Up until last weekend, vehicles left in the two parking lots after 3 a.m. were towed in order for the city to sweep the lot. And if you need to leave your car parked on a city street overnight, check this out. Every parking machine has a yellow button which allows you to buy parking in advance. That way you don't get ticketed. It's called Next Day Parking and it's available south of 10th Street. The city is also hoping to get private parking lots on board, giving buzzed downtown visitors more places to park overnight. The news is blowing up on Sarah's Facebook page. Proof one person can ignite a citywide movement. It's proof that we're getting the city to listen to us, and it's proof that the city recognizes that they have an, a problem with DWIs that really needs to be addressed. In Austin, Alex Boyer, KITV News.